What's up, everybody? It's your boy, DJ Anthony Mosley, the entertainment expert. And before we get into this video, please make sure you check out my YouTube for all your latest soaker rhythms. And if anybody can get me on a truck, let me know, because y'all know I'm trying to get up on this truck and mash up somebody's carnival. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and talk about the mess that was Atlanta Carnival. Uh, for the sake of this video, Atlanta Carnival is just going to be one whole carnival. If you're not familiar, Atlanta City does have two carnivals in the same day. There's Atlanta Decap Carnival and then there's Atlanta Downtown Carnival. Uh, it used to be one, but some things happened. Uh, egos, probably money got involved and now we got two. So with that being said, Atlanta Decab Carnival was usually the bigger of the two. Uh, it had more bands. It also had more spectators. Also, the concert afterwards had, I would say, more, more, it had bigger artists and more big artists than the Atlanta Downtown Carnival. So that's a little bit of history. So fast forward to present tense. Uh, they announced Carnival is coming back. All the bands are doing their band launches. And then all of a sudden there's a meeting and most of the big bands, probably all of the big bands departed from Atlanta Decab Carnival and went to Atlanta Downtown Carnival. Uh, shout out to Atlanta Downtown Carnival for taking everybody in because, you know, they've been treated like, you know, second fiddle, like number two all this time. And then when they were needed, they were like, oh, come on. They weren't even petty about it. Now, after these bands left, there was a lot of concern going on. People were like, oh, what is going on? Especially because it's the big bands. This man gets on live, goes live with American Wines Matter. There's one person I've seen him going live with. It's the only one I paid attention to. He gets on live and says, oh, no, we're good. This is our route. We're going to be on the road for four hours. It's two miles. Blase, blase, blase. That was an opportunity to come clean. That was an opportunity to come clean, but you didn't. By the way, shout out to those bands for having the wherewithal to leave when they did. Because if they didn't, we, we wouldn't have had no carnival, period. All right. So, when things got really crazy is... The night before the Atlanta Decap Carnival Parade, at about 11 or 12 o'clock, the president of the Band Leaders Association gets on Instagram Live and says that we cannot have the parade. Cuss the live off. Don't save the live. Don't, don't nothing. Only reason we was knowing about this because somebody was screen recording it while he was making his statement and sent it out and then it went on like that. If it wasn't for that person, everybody would have been waking up the next morning dazed and confused. All right. So once I seen that, I already knew what I was going to be doing. I was going to London downtown carnival. I done paid for my co my costume. It was $600. I done paid for my costume. I don't really drink. Okay, I'll take that back. All right, so I'm not supposed to be drinking because I'm on some high blood pressure medication. But usually when I do go to a uh, carnival, you know it's rum punch, rum punch, rum punch, rum punch. But I wasn't planning on drinking, so I was like, whatever, I'm just going down there. Hey, I'm, I don't stay with my band anyway. I go to each band. I just be floating around to each band. So I wasn't worried about if my truck was there or not. Rum soaker gal. That's all I need. But... For all the people who maybe it was their first time being a masquerader or 
your first time coming to Atlanta or hell, even if you came to Atlanta, you done flew down here, you done got a room, Airbnb, a rental car, cost of all this stuff, and you finding out at the last minute, like, hey, there's no uh, no parade. And you might not even know about uh, the Atlanta downtown carnival. So I was like, dang, that's messed up for them. And it's thousands of people who spent thousands of dollars. And there's no way in hell that this should happen. So the uh, president blamed it on the Atlanta decal police department saying that they didn't have enough police officers. Oh, no, but wait, what we found out was, because they made a statement, it was like, no, we did our part, you were supposed to find the security, and you didn't find enough. And the date that they knew this was in jeopardy was May 19th. Carnival is on May 28th, I think, maybe May 29th, but you had time to either, all right, Guys, this is not going to work. Everybody needs to go to Atlanta Downtown Carnival. I messed it up. Or you had time to do something, but you did. I don't know. Maybe he tried. Okay, I'm not going to say he did nothing. Maybe he tried, but there should have been a, 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 a longer amount of time before you decided to put this statement out saying, hey, we can't have Carnival. What? What? And you know how much this means to so many people some people only thing they live for is going to carnival we haven't had carnival in Atlanta in two years everybody don't travel so you waited this whole time the last minute trying to save your face but you made it worse I don't understand I know something could have been done anything could have been done but nothing was done so all the masqueraders ended up going to downtown carnival which um some of the bands a lot of the bands took their trucks over to downtown carnival too all the masqueraders in there so this is my first time going to the downtown carnival and my question was why have we been sleeping on downtown carnival like the route was cool like i like the route everything like it was nice now the the festival village was it they didn't have the artists that i want to see there but other than that why have we been sleeping on atlanta downtown carnival so the downtown carnival does go through some residential areas right so you know there were some complaints they made it to Fox 5 News. They were talking about Atlanta Downtown Carnival. And they were talking about all the drama. And all the extra masqueraders. And what they wasn't expecting. And apparently there were no porter potties out there. So. People were apparently urinating in people's yards. And stuff. So. Now we have a problem with Atlanta Decap Carnival. Because they messed it up and now we have a problem with atlanta downtown carnival because the people who live in the area are not pleased and they are not the type of people you don't want to be pleased because they're going to shut it down so my question now is can we even have a carnival in atlanta do the masqueraders who came from out of town, will they feel comfortable coming back to Atlanta for carnival after this atrocity that just has happened? Will the people who live near the downtown route block or protest or stop us from coming back to that same area next year? So, if y'all don't know, at the end of the parade route, there's a festival village, right? At the festival village, there's vendors out there. Uh, they're selling Caribbean food, uh, all types of Caribbean things. And there's a concert. Good news, the festival did happen. Not without 
problems though. So this is so unorganized. So they first said that okay, we're still gonna have the festival village at Atlanta Decal. All right, cool, bet. Then you get a notification that boom, all right, so we moved the concert to Bliss Lounge. What? Then it's like, all right, boom, we're back at where we originally were. And all of these like notifications are coming in late. Like Festival Village starts at four o'clock. At six o'clock, you still get notification that we, what? That is moving. What? Then, as I'm home resting, going through all these pictures that I took, I get a notification on my Facebook saying that Atlanta Decap Carnival had changed their name to Atlanta Festival Village. Oh my goodness. Why could they not just leave that alone? It was just something else for us to talk about. Like, leave your name alone. Now, on a positive note, I can say that I didn't hear anything about anybody not getting their costumes. Usually, at least one band that messed up and somebody didn't get a costume. But this time, I didn't hear anything about nobody not getting the costume. So hopefully, everybody got their costumes. In conclusion, overall, being on the road was fun. I love being back behind the big truck. Screaming soca at the top of my lungs with other people who love to scream soca at the top of their lungs. I just don't know how Carnival in Atlanta can survive this. It may. It may have to take a couple steps back and then make a return. But as of right now, like I don't see how people can have trust in Carnival in Atlanta. So, looks like next year... We all going to be going down to old Orlando because they have a carnival on the same weekend. 